Okay, I just came up with a very fun square root and exponent questions for you guys. Here we are going to figure out the square root of 4 to the 9th to the 16th power is equal to which of these. And you know the deal, please pause the video and try this first. Done? Okay, I will tell you guys that if you look at this and just take the square root of this, this and that, you get 2, 3 and 4, right? But that's not the answer. The answer is actually A. In fact, when you have this kind of situations, just go ahead and take the square root of the very base. Or maybe divide the exponent by 2, one or the other. So let me explain that right here. Right here, we have that square root. This square root is the same as the 1 half power. So let me write that down. And then the inside here, we have 4 to the 9 to the 16th power. And here's a little note for you guys. Whenever we are doing this kind of exponentiation, when we have a to the b to the c, this right here, we are going to work out b to the c's power first, and then do a to that power. So this is just a convention of this notation. With that said, right here when we have 4 to the 9 to the 16, we are going to look at this as a result. It's just a very big number. I don't know what it is. Maybe you guys can help me out with your whatever calculator. So we have 4 to this power and then to the 1 half power. So we can take this and then multiply. And we'll be looking at this as 4 to the 1 half times 9 to the 16th power, like this. And unfortunately, if we do 1 half times 9 to the 16th power, there's nothing too much you can simplify. So we do the other way. Right here, I'm just going to do 4 to the 1 half power first and then raise to that power. So this right here, I will just put it as 4 to the 1 half power and then 9 to the 16th power. And this right here is just a square root. Square root of 4 is just a 2. It's not plus or minus 2. All right. So this right here, we get 2 for the base and then raise to the 9 to the 16th power. So the best answer right here is, of course, A. Yeah. I was actually trying to think about some other questions that can make this uh, simplify a little bit. But of course, I know when we have this situation, just take the square root of the very base right here and that simplifies it, right? If you want to have a slightly more fun question, I would say, you can go ahead and try this right here. How would you simplify square root of 2 to the 2 to the 9? Yeah, so unfortunately, when we have three numbers like this, like double exponentiation, technically, right? Um, we go do that, and how would you simplify this? Like, let me know. And if you can think about a very interesting square root, and then like a lot of exponent questions, and simplify nicely, uh, also let me know. But anyway, though, this is it.